Carter, do you want to go outside and play? When six-year-old Carter Churchill gets home from school, there's one thing he wants to do. Orange chair? Yes? Okay, let's go. The orange chair helps Carter keep pace when his brother and friends are running in the backyard. It helps level the playing field. Carter has cerebral palsy. He can't speak. He's also deaf, but cochlear implants allow him to hear. With all the daily challenges he and his parents face, the biggest one right now is in his grade one classroom. Carter communicates through ASL, American Sign Language. If you don't know it, you can't have a conversation with Carter. Carter gets only two hours per day of a school day, which is six and a half to seven hours of quality instruction with somebody who can have a two-way communication with him. It's not okay. It's, it's discrimination. It's his right that he receives uh, um, a quality education that's equal to that of his peers. Being in a classroom with a teacher and students who don't know ASL also means Carter is not honing his own language skills the way other students learn English. But if you sent your child to kindergarten and they were never taught English ever, you can imagine when they got to grade 12 how bad their English would be. But now Carter's expected not to learn any ASL in school at all. He's, it's not a subject matter for him. He needs help to do that. Help his parents say he's not getting in the classroom. A disadvantage they fear will follow him from grade to grade. Eventually he would get to grade 12 and maybe have a grade 2 or grade 3 education, maybe if he was lucky. And as a father, and I'm sure my wife will say the same thing, we don't want to look back and have Carter ask us when he's 18 and he has very limited education and very limited opportunities, Dad, what, what, why didn't you do something about it? That worry is a weight on the Churchill family. The worry that their son isn't being given the chance to succeed this early in life. We have no intention of ever quitting. We're sticking around until Carter gets a full-time teacher of the deaf uh, in his classroom 